cherish your family while they're here, because things can go wrong at any second. It's sad out here. Sometimes we lose it. And sometimes we lose the people that's important to us. We just got to take a stand, y'all. Remember, fatal mistake can cost us. You know how many sacrifices I've done for my family, my son, because he's been through a lot. The search is on this afternoon for the person who killed a 30-year-old Chicago woman found strangled to death in her garage. It was not the first time she had been the victim of violence. In fact, she talked with us about it just a month ago. Okay, guys, I want to speak on Sierra Jamison, who was killed by Lawrence, I think, Board. Um, I don't know what they had going on, but it was like a relationship. She looked a little too young for him. But maybe he had money and stuff like that because he'd been to the Marines and stuff like that. But like he worked and stuff. But he ended up killing um, Jameson in the garage. I don't know what that argument was about, but he ended up killing him. Maybe she was done with him um, or whatever. And maybe he had a secret life. But he choked her up. He claimed she had a, he thought she had a gun, but none of that was true. He tried to come up with stories and stuff like that. But he ended up killing her and choking her out, leaving her in the garage, and lied to the brothers and the mama. Then they went back there and they found her back there. Um, it's crazy, man. Boy killed that young lady. She was robbed a couple of times from home. Um, but she, she survived that. And then she went on the news talking about that. And she was not knowing that she was gonna be killed later on, a month later, by somebody she was messing with at the time. It's crazy, man. And also they saying that Lawrence had a past. I don't know what the past was or whatever, what it was about, but they said he had a past. And yes, he was a Marine. Yes, he had choked out people before.